Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Norville. This edition Top Stories. Nemo announces national lockdown due to tropical storm Elsa. The government of St. Lucia continues to strengthen legislation to combat human trafficking. And celebrating 17 years of the Petos as a World Heritage Site with a future in mind. St. Lucia has readied the National Emergency Response Mechanism as Tropical Storm Elsa approaches the Windward Islands. The system is expected to begin to affect the islands, including St. Lucia, from early Friday morning. Andre Joy is the Director of Met Services. If the system passes over at 30 to 35 knots, then you would get um, seas of 6 to 9 feet, which is rough, rough seas. So um, the projections would not allow um, sea craft to tra traverse. Okay, the intermediate advisory at 11 a.m. Um, the location of Elsa was at 10.1 degrees north and 51.4 degrees west, which is about 680 miles east of St. Lucia, or east-southeast. Uh, and the maximum sustained winds was 45 miles per hour. That was an increase from 35 earlier. Okay, and um, it's moving westward. So if it stays on that track, then it would definitely pass south of St. Lucia. Okay, and um, for watches and warnings, the islands that put out storm warnings, which is um, a storm warning is when winds would be impacting the island within 36 hours. Those islands are Barbados, Martinique, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent. And further out, you'd have Guadeloupe and the Gr Grenada and the Grenadines having watches because they don't um, have, they won't have the serious impact that we might have. Okay. So, um, yeah, the, for the winds, we expecting um, storm force winds on Friday, and one of the issues that will be compounded is the rainfall. We already had a system which passed through on Wednesday with significant rainfall. And if this system affects us with the rainfall that is expected, um, we would have about three to six inches, which would definitely cause some concern and flooding in the area. On the forecast track, the system will pass near St. Lucia on Friday and move into the Eastern Caribbean Sea late Friday. As a result, a meeting of the National Emergency Management Advisory Council, NEMAC, on Thursday agreed to several measures in response to Tropical Storm Elsa. There will be a national shutdown from 4 a.m. till 2 p.m. on Friday, 2nd July 2021. Cabinet Secretary Benjamin Emanuel is the chairman of NEMAC. We are, however, based again on the advice of MET, projecting that the all clear could potentially be given somewhere about 2 o'clock, but it will only be after the all clear is given that the shutdown is going to be discontinued. So rather than um, speaking specifically to the hours of the shutdown, we will announce the commencement of the shutdown on being 4 a.m. until the all clear is given. From a planning perspective and with the agencies with various responsibilities, we are projecting that it may be possible for that to be lifted somewhere about 2 p.m. But it will be when the all clear is given that the national shutdown will, will be ended. We've also um, agreed that in respect of um, operations both in the public and private sector in the pri in the public sector the essential services um, may be resumed when the all clear is given and of course we are not talking about the essential services that operate 24 7 like our police hospitals and so on that will continue right through um, the national shutdown would not impact that but of course the planning and um, operational um, logistics will uh, take into consideration that there is a national shutdown but both in the public and private sector any resumption of normal business activities 
will be determined after the all clear is given in terms of what is feasible and appropriate announcements will be made. In terms of airport operations, the Air and Seaport Slasper, Air and Seaports Authority will communicate to their interests, both Air and Seaports interests, maritime and civil aviation interests, the times of operations of our Air and Seaports once the all clear is actually given. Due to the expected passage of Tropical Storm Elsa and the national shutdown from 4 a.m. to 2 p.m. Friday, schools will remain closed and all examinations have been suspended. Banks and credit unions will remain closed. Other business interests will not resume operations until the all clear is given and may do so based on their individual assessments. Meantime, the Ministry of Infrastructure has mobilized its resources for response following the passage of Tropical Storm Elsa. Heavy equipment and teams are on standby. So too are members of the St. Lucia Fire Service and the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has also readied its system. Jenny Daniel is the Deputy Permanent Secretary. We measured their preparedness by way of the availability of food supplies, fuel supplies, water supplies, medication, and the overall structural integrity of the buildings. So we have found that most of them are ready to face the impending storm. Um, there are a couple of our institutions, in that, and that includes the Respiratory Hospital and the Sufre Hospital, where sandbags may have to be used to, to mitigate against flooding if it comes to that. Um, structurally, we have most of our centers be having been assessed with a few issues in terms of leaks, um, roof leakage and so on, but these have been mitigated and will be mitigated against. All of them have five days supplies of food, water and fuel at least. All of them have their medica medication available for the next five days. Um, our communication system is up and running. Once again, St. Lucia and the rest of the Windward Islands are bracing for the passage of Tropical Storm Elsa. St. Lucia is expected to begin to experience strong winds early Friday morning, with rains beginning at about 6 a.m. Elsa is expected to produce rainfall totals of 3 to 6 inches, with maximum totals of 10 inches across the Windward Islands. A national shutdown will come into effect for St. Lucia from 4 a.m. to 2 p.m. Friday, 2nd July 2021. The public is urged not to venture out until the all-clear is given by NEMO. In other news, the government of St. Lucia is continuing to strengthen legislation and systems to combat human trafficking. Hamadi Mark reports on the latest efforts. The government of St. Lucia continues to intensify efforts to clamp down on the crime of trafficking in persons by recently adding more teeth to the Counter-Trafficking Act. The newly amended act is now cited as the Counter-Trafficking Amendment Act 2021. This legislation first came into force in 2010 and sets out to protect victims and to prosecute traffickers. The Counter-Trafficking Act also applies to anyone involved in aiding and abetting the perpetration of crimes of exploitation against human beings. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Home Affairs and National Security, Mrs. Elizabeth Bailey, says the amendment is in fact a very significant step in ensuring the legislation sends a strong message about the seriousness with which the law regards the exploitation of human beings. The objective of undertaking the amendments to the Counter-Trafficking Act was to remove certain sentencing provisions that allowed fines in lieu of imprisonment for sex trafficking offenses. The Counter-Trafficking Amendment Act was assented to by the Governor-General, His Excellency Sir Neville Snack, on May 12, 2021. From the Government Information Service, Huma Dimak reporting. In an era when wildlife heroes are needed more than ever, the Department of Agriculture joins the Disney Conservation Fund in recognizing Melvin Smith, one of the latest recipients of the Disney Conservation Award. Every year, the Disney Conservation Fund recognizes the dedication and hard work of individuals and groups working to conserve wildlife and protect wild places around the world. 
Melvin Smith, one of the 20 individuals and teams honored in 2020, joined the ranks of more than 200 passionate, dedicated Disney conservation heroes who have been recognized in more than 50 countries around the world to date. Melvin, a naturalist by birth, identified 400 new wild plant species on the island that had previously gone undocumented. He also contributed to the restoration of the Sandy Beach coastline by growing 800 individual plants in his own nursery to help revegetate the coast. Praising the work of the naturalist, country manager and forest management advisor for the Caribbean America's Fauna and Flora International FFI, Adam Stusser, explains that upon discovering a small mountain top population of pencil cedar trees, an endemic species nearly extinct in the wild, Melvin cultivated new saplings through patience and a fierce determination to bring the species back from the brink of extinction. This species was recently discovered on the edge of a cliff at Piti Pito. So what Mr. Smith has singly handedly done is to actually take some of these germplasm and bring it down. And now he's able to grow over 1,500 plants in a nursery. In its original habitat, there's just about 60 plants left. So that was the world, um, um, I would say, repository on that pity pit on itself. So now we are able to now grow these plants and now be able to restore the species in the wild. And now St. Lucians can be able to use this plant as a Christmas tree. And this is why we have called it the Peter Christmas tree because it is in the past it was used as Christmas trees. Recipient of the Disney Conservation Award, Melvin Smith, expressed gratitude to all parties who contributed to his success. Well, I'd like to say a special thanks to Fauna and Flora International, especially Jenny Daltrey, Sophia Stell and Adam Stuse. Also thanks to the Forestry Department and Disney and everyone who supported me in some way to make this event possible. Let me mention two names, Niley Campton and Roger Graveson. In this unprecedented moment, I'd like to say to the citizens of St. Lucia, there should be no tremulous about making up your minds to help your country rise to a position in the mannerism world that will help challenge the attention and command the administration of this world. Melvin, a true conservationist, is not only assisting in the conservation of rare species, but he also hopes to teach and inspire others to appreciate and care for St. Lucia's ecosystem. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting. St. Lucia is celebrating the 17th anniversary of the inscription of the Peter Management Area, PMA, on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Wednesday, 30th of June, marked the 17th anniversary of the inscription of the Peter's Management Area, PMA, on the UNESCO World Heritage List. UNESCO will be lending support to facilitate the updating of the PMA Site Management Plan. This support forms part of an important initiative by the UNESCO Cluster Office for the Caribbean to assist Caribbean member states and associate members and their respected World Heritage properties to have management plans which reflect current threats to cultural and natural heritage and specifically those associated with natural disasters. Marcia Symphorian is the Secretary General of the St. Lucia National Commission for UNESCO. In order to address the risks the office will be providing funding to assist with the updating of management plans to incorporate climate change components to the plans where these um, exist. It will provide support to update and where these do not exist to develop those components. It will also provide support for developing components regarding to in respect of um, managing disasters within World Heritage Sites. The National Commission is pleased to be, to be able to provide this support at this time, especially now that we have started the hurricane season and having had experiences in the past with the impact of the disaster, disasters we've experienced in St. Lucia on our World Heritage Site, 
especially the Soufre um, Sulphur Springs area in particular, as well as within the site um, itself. The Secretary General explained that this initiative is being developed in support of the five objectives identified in the strategy for reducing risks from disasters at World Heritage properties. These include strengthening support within relevant global, regional, national and local institutions for reducing risks at World Heritage properties using knowledge, innovation and education to build a culture of disaster prevention at World Heritage properties, identifying, assessing and monitoring disaster risks at World Heritage properties, reducing underlying risk factors at World Heritage properties, and strengthening disaster preparedness at World Heritage properties for effective response at all levels. This initiative, we believe, will allow not just for the incorporation of those two major components, but also provides an opportunity for the PMA office and indeed the government of St. Lucia to revise, um, review the existing management plans with a view to ensuring that it adequately meets the criteria for proper management of the site. We are pleased therefore as National Commission for UNESCO to make this support available to the PME office in, in celebration of the, th the 17th anniversary of the inscription of the site on the UNESCO World Heritage List. The Peters Management Area has been chosen as one of the pilot World Heritage properties in the Caribbean to implement this activity. The St. Lucia National Commission for UNESCO will work alongside the PMA Office and PMA Advisory Committee to ensure the successful implementation of this activity. Public sessions will also be conducted with stakeholders in order to discuss the outcomes of this process, as well as to promote stakeholder awareness and buying. This is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle Aquayol. Here at St. Lucia Distillers, we produce an award-winning range of rums and rum products. We export our rums to the Caribbean, North America and Europe. Standards facilitate our entry into overseas markets. In the rum business, it is critical that our distillers and blenders get it right. St. Lucia Distillers is HACCP certified. We use two standards from SLBS, the standard for labeling of pre-packaged foods, SLNS 1-3-2014 and the national specification for rum, SLNS 12, 2003. We are also a registered member of the West Indies Rum and Spirit Producers Association, WISPA. SLBS ensures that we are up to standard and world class. This message is brought to you by the Commonwealth Standards Network. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle of Wayall. Monsieur, Madame, Department of Responsibility, pour information en gouvernement cette ci ça c'est GIS à ce même télévision nationale puis à NTN Capuzato Nouvelle à Creole Presato Primus Hutchinson en préparation pour mauvais temps else qui a menacé cette ci et l'autre pays à Caribla organisation qui responsable pour GDP à recommandation et préparation si à Caio des As ça c'est NIMAC qui a proposé pour pays à fermer opération commencé à 4h vendredi bon matin le 2e en mars juillet 2021 pour juste temps bureau météorologie et ni mag décidé pays à sans essor pour virer ouvert opération encore et que ça qui fait bon 2h après-midi à bien faire ça de une décision subitement j'ai dit organisation ni mag à bas conduite premier ministre ici honorable Alain Chasné cap sec chef numéro chef bureau météorologie il était acide pour arriver à une décision et engager plusieurs agences, ensemble avec le secteur privé et le public PIA. Ou apporter la santé au département de santé, le département d'éducation, le euh, service de commerce, la police, les pompiers, slash, pour utilité publique, et tout le monde qui a système qui est en place et qui a fait toute préparation si un cas mauvais dans la salle, il faut ici. Le résultat de la décision pour fermer l'opération PIA, le service public qui a fermé, à part de ces services-là qui sont toujours nécessaires. Le secteur privé qui est fermé et qui a fait des services peut prendre un petit temps avant de vivre au pays. Ça, c'est après l'annoncement fait pour vivre au vert PIA. Toute l'examination qui était pour le cours vendredi, 
au ministère de l'éducation, pas qu'il fait d'accord. Il peut pas possible pour le service de banque vivre au point après payer à vie au vert, de pas assurer les permissions à la fête. Selon cela, le report ne peut pas commencer l'opération tout le temps, tout assassinat à fait si un cas mauvais temps cela affecte le pays. Même si nous n'avons pas de permission pour payer à vie commencer l'opération. Cela se passe pour faire détermination à ce qui met les pour vivre ouvert opération et au port et port des services bateaux. Ça qui dépend à ce jean niveau et bureau météorologie à cette ci Si l'on a pas de bureau météorologie, mauvais temps elle ça qui s'est posé passer face à cette ci vendredi, qui a poussé vent en dégoût de 60 lieux par des temps et puis qui a mis un pile la pluie. Les pêcheurs, marchands de poissons, les coopératifs, la pêche et l'autre qui est engagé en affaire pêche à cette ci célébré à son pays, le restant pays, la sécurité du pays, la fête ses pieds, et bien fête pe, les pêcheurs, comme ses pieds, ses patrons pour pêcher. Ça, c'était le 29 juin 2021. C'est que la pêche a apporté une haute contribution pour économiser cette ci en façon de sécurité, de manger, de travail et de profit des finances. C'est pour ça que le département de la pêche a continué pour bâtir la résilience et la capacité de pêcher avec la façon de technologie et aussi l'épouvement en programme pour bâtir la première facilité du département de la pêche. Le département de la pêche a assisté les pêcheurs à plusieurs façons pour improuver la production. Les pêcheurs ont trouvé équipement, l'équipement et aussi apprendre diverses méthodes nouvelles. Le département de la pêche a aussi assisté les pêcheurs pour trouver des bénéfices à ses ronces. Il y a 150 radios pour servir pour plus de communication à son amène. Plus de 1400 pêcheurs ont reçu un support à bas assistance des maladies coronales. Le département de la pêche a continué pour aider les pêcheurs, pour improuver à son opération, pour porter bon succès et l'avantage de l'économie pêche en capacité pour développer ce que la pêche à cette ci En parlant de ça, les pêcheurs célébrent les fêtes et les activités qui ont servi la messe, les bénédictions pour les bateaux pêche, ça veut dire les bénédictions pour les bateaux, les cérémonies pour les présenter prix pour les pêcheurs qui ont trouvé la victoire à la compétition de la pêche. Au registre des affaires coopératives, à cette ci M. Egbert Stevens déclare que les pêcheurs ont joué un rôle qui critique à l'industrie de la pêche. Il est, ça c'est pour éprouver à ce sous la pêche à cette ci en mettant ses qualités challenge qui la terre a, qui a affecté la terre après ça. M. Stevens a ajouté que la nécessité pour produire la pêche qui a augmenté, etc. ça là, qui a obtenu un service qui est très important pour fournir euh, manger, employement et profit des finances pour payer à Magoué, Pèse Maladie Corona. Secrétaire pour le coopératif de la société de la pêche à Paris Castri, Diane Marthre, renforcé le commitment coopératif là pour travailler et puis le département de la pêche avec l'autre agence qui est une bonne association et puis pour un bon support pour les pêcheurs qui bâtit et bâtit à sous résilience. Il y a un appel déjà sorti très fort pour les femmes pour les primaires précautions. Les gens ont essayé pour chaper les animaux de voyons des as. Eh bien, cyclone, chef officier extension, comme il le dit, conseiller ce qu'il veut, ce qu'il veut faire, ça l'a dit, voyons une discussion à ce programme-là agricole en mouvement. Monsieur Jebatis, conseiller les femmes pour faire assurer de tirer tous les animaux à place côté qui est dangereux depuis après ce qui la caille n'y a des as. Il dit aussi, la nécessité um, commune côté les femmes puis pas ouais pièce sin qui l'a pris qu'elle tombe mais ça pas voulait dire euh, faut la pluie pas qu'elle tombe elle est faute avec la vieille ça vient go ça yo yo savent avec gros de l'eau peu de sensibilité mais assuré chef officier extension n'a qu'à vêtir les femmes qui y primer pour point de vent avant de voir point parce que on peut perdre la vue avec la vie animaux aussi alors c'est faut yo tirer les animaux bon né et quitter l'habitation pour si si un cas est situé à un côté qui est riscable pour des as. Oui, j'ai cru que c'était un 
mon pas d'en vie fort oui oui yoni pour cause love vie mon qui ne parler à cet côté en en bas side vol let me cou pour cause love vie ou ça vous ne pour cause love vie fait des marches pour sortir bon nez avec pas quitter machine nous pour love vie l'année l'année monsieur il a passé à vous monsieur qui est 98 nous peut tout connaître lui monsieur 98 qui était venu pour love vie avec ou ça les love vie venir monsieur m'a oui venir qui m'a oui quand on venir tout Je vais juste avec les femmes qui ont l'auto aussi pour prendre un bon conseil pour préserver les coyos et les autos aussi du un désastre. Pour ne pas changer ça qui est dans le vent, c'est le vent. Bon, le vent est bon, mais c'est un tube qui peut flotter comment Bon, on est quatre ça dans la machine, depuis que je viens de l'eau, il peut flotter. Donc, pas pour ne pas calter ces choses. La voie est plus importante pour passer un moment. Si on fait passer une machine, si on est arrivé là, ou est arrivé là, ou est arrivé là, Chen Kowan Hote, ou est là peut-être ou échappé, ou ka hope dat ki la pa kaini en fala yi pou en fala yi pou. Mi a pa di sa, ou est là avec atan justan la ou vie de san, et gloa, et plas la, ou sa pas. Ek, mishé, mesdam, sa se kote nou atro pou novel la, mou ka remesse ou tan pou ka kote, ou me ka gade, ek, mou ka bon invitasyon pou jen pou mou ka sedye, konserve la vi, den ga y pou zoto an lot, Nouvelle à Koyol, t'es moi encore faire sauf qui paye à fermer depuis à 4 heures à bon matin pour juste les yeux décidés à y s'en est sauf encore et nous avons dit tout le monde pour que tout le qui est nécessaire à préparer pour si un cas mauvais temps à la passer et ça c'est le moins vieux présent au Chanel. Merci à Pil Primus. That brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Norville.